has has done a uh, has really spearheaded this this whole event, and uh, and I I want to I thank you for everything that you've done. Uh, there's not very many people that take the, the time out of their day to uh, to call and make phone calls to talk to people all across the county. We we have letters from from senators, um, congressmen. We have uh, state senators and and uh, delegates. And we have everyone. There's a lot of people that are backing our efforts in Lincoln County. Buster, 3,300 signatures. It's 3,300 3, signatures. 3,300. And that's and that was got in 15 days. Oh, and just over. It was really, really like that. Thank you. <clears throat> if not, uh, I've had put on this agenda a discussion uh, for the Lincoln Public Service District board member position. Uh, I think you have in your packets a letter stating that uh, uh, Mr. Gregory's position is up now and uh, we need to appoint a replacement for him. What are the application applicants that we have for that position? Richard and Rudy Thomas. <laughs> um, then we got a uh, Actual resume for a Steve Scott Polly and a Sam Rudy. I move that we appoint Richard Thomas <coughs> to the Lincoln County DSP. Is there a second? Is there a second? I'll second that. On the vote. All those in favor say yes. Yes. Opposed? No. Not so. Not based on Ruby, but based on the idea that Sam Ruby was on the agenda and we approved him once before as a board member, and I can't find in my heart why we should not give him that opportunity again. Why was the reason we approved him and then didn't and took him back? Had it not been <coughs> oh, okay. So okay. nothing okay. against him. And, uh, right, just, right. And I understand that you know he, he's a he is a master plumber and things like that. I because I, uh, I, I I do have some background with him and Mr. Thomas and. And uh, your uh, dissension is noted. We're going to move on to unfinished business, possible action. I need a, if we're going to, I need a motion to terminate the existing contract between Shelby Tucker and Lincoln County Clerk and Lincoln County Commission. I move. I'll second. Then all yes? Yes. yes. Is Rick but now? Rick won't be able to be here today. He just gave you all an each packet of okay. written updates. Okay. All right. Uh, on, next on the agenda, I have personnel issues, but uh, we don't need to go into an executive session. I'll ask for a motion to terminate the services of uh, Barry Mullins. I move. Is there a second? Have we done anything to, to determine if the issue that Mr. Mullins has is treatable, uh, like an illness? I guess I just feel like it's definitely demonstrate his ability to be a good employee, realizing he may have personal issues. I guess I just wonder if there's anything that we owe a good employee to treat the symptoms or treat an illness that they might have, that they might be able to be suspended and come back later and, and see if they can prove themselves as a valuable employee if they demonstrated in the past. I, and, uh, just as a note to this, I had discussed uh, you know, being a physician, I handle these things quite often, and, and as far as treatment of them. But um, I discussed this with him, and um, I know that there, uh, I'd have had discussions with both you all concerning the situation, um, and I think that would that would be a reasonable thing to do. I think the problem that, uh, it, as far as myself personally, the way I would deal with it would be if we did terminate Mr. Uh, Mullins and. He would come back and reapply, show he's where he should be. And I, I don't really want to get into the discussion of particulars about the case. But I, I do feel it's, uh, I, I have trouble when, when you know, I, I had several complaints about this problem and uh, asked the Sheriff's Department to address it. And uh, they did. And uh, I, I really feel personally uh, that I would feel more comfortable with the termination than the suspension based upon the fact that uh, I, I think he's been counseled on this thing before and I think that uh, he's failed on things before and, and I would, would really feel more comfortable hiring someone that 
uh, I could, uh, and, and I, I will will say that I've had very pos I've had very positive interactions with, with Mr. Mullins during all my term, and that he's worked here. Uh, but I do feel there are some things that require doing it in this manner, uh, and that's just my personal opinion. I'll second that motion based upon that discussion. Is that an all yes? Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, on, on new business, we're going to remove the. Let's see. Uh, the where's it at on this? On page three. Oh, page three. Yeah, we're going to remove the um, motion to be made for the board member for Tri River Transit. We have not advertised that, so if I could, I will ask if we could go ahead and advertise that. I think that's what we should do. Is that is that okay? Yes. It's okay. We'll do that. <clears throat> okay, with that being out of the way, I'll ask for a motion to approve the, once you have reviewed the uh, motions, a motion to approve all the new business is listed. I move. Is there a second? Second. And all yes. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, hold on just one second. Uh, Dave Roberts was printing off invoices and getting them out to the board members and everything. Um, and I'm going to to be included in the bills. Can you, can you hand, can if it had not been submitted before we got them, we couldn't do that, I would think, could we? Is it something that has to be paid before our next meeting, or? You know, no, is it something that has to be paid for the be, next meeting? It's going to be out the, the, probably his budget year. Oh, is it a budget year request? Is it a budget revision? No, it's not. Well, it's it's going to be from last budget year. This is the beginning of the last meeting in June. Right. Oh, so he basically we have to approve this within the fiscal year. Well, it'd be best if you could. You don't have to. It'd be best if you could, as far as helping them and helping them mount your budget. What do you want to do? Has it been advertised? No, basically oh, what this is, is a it's a bill that uh, for this fiscal year that he has submitted for this fiscal year. Um, what I'm saying is, you understand what I'm talking about. Post it, post it for public review. Well, when, when I post the agenda, it just says to approve all bills submitted for payment. It doesn't actually say individual, so but, it, I guess that would cover any and all. But I, let me see. <laughs> Three hundred fifty dollars. Is that what we're talking about? There's actually two invoices. Be a total of three hundred fifty. One was for this was scholarships. Scholarships for state camp and three uh, county camp scholarships. You answer my question, Mary. I'm fine. Okay. okay. Is there a motion to go ahead and approve this? I'll move it. Okay. I'll second. Okay, now, is there a motion to go ahead and approve all new business as, as presented on this, this paper? I move. Second. Okay, is that all yes? Yes. All right. We'll go to commission concerns. I really, I, I have a few things I want to talk about, but I think we'll go 